Attention music.
Hmm. This has been an example of a waiting room. When this place used to be an airport. Ooh. Nice little radio. Well, this works. Let's see. Is it... That sure is working. Okay. Okay, I guess that doesn't work then. This looks like an interesting piece of machinery. There's a little switch you can turn on. And Mercedes right here. This is an old one, 1960 edition. Old interior work. Try turning the crank. Came over and raised this landing gear. That'd be a little hard to work with. Oh wow, hold on. Just landing gear, I think. Not all of it, actually. This is, I see. And then it's time to roll it back up. Down on that side, too. Those are back in. Charles Lindbergh purse, uh, Lindbergh poster. Sorry, I think it was pronounced. I know what it sounds like. This must be the first. I wonder if this was the first. And say, there's a bunch of blue boxes, just like this. They're like flight simulators. You could say they were like the early motion simulator of its time. Yeah, pretty neat seeing the inside of it. And yeah, that's so neat. There's a bunch of engines right here. This is a turbojet engine. From a J35A13. This one's probably the common kind I'd see in a plane I've noticed a bunch of times. This is a neat one. And here's an air cycle machine. It's supposed to circulate the air when it comes to, um, I don't know what it'd be like, actually. Hmm. 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 
Hmm. Oh, wait. You guys know what? Mm -hmm. This is the Wichita Hall of Air Hall of Fame, I think. Stupid. Nice little uh, clock right here. Must be used to tell the difference between time back then. This at one time used to be, ooh, ah, it spooked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, mannequins tend to spook me as well. Do not ask why. This is the original blueprints for this building that we're standing in right now. What you're seeing. This is the entrance to the Hall of Fame. There's stuff right here. Do some cleaner stuff. Alright. Right. Must have been something here on this wall before they stripped it. I remember going back over here again so I could get a better listen to the radio. Staircase. This is the middle atrium staircase that takes us into the. Of course, as you might have just yes, the atrium. Oh, looks like a banquet hall, I guess. What's going on here? Right now we're standing on the second floor. We just went on the second floor building. Here's all the different airliners. Sorts style kind of reminds me of the early cartoons done by Walt Disney. Like, I think like 30s or 40s. Maybe the 50s, I guess. I don't know. This section's in the Beechcrest Company. It's interesting what we might have to see. 
I think that must be Queen Elizabeth up at the top. Is it? I don't know, really. It's a huge Goodyear plane right here. Stagger wing model. It's like a biplane, I guess. Air races. You know, those were big back in the day. They still are now, of course, but, you know, it's more modern than what we used to have back then. Of course, I'm not saying I lived in the specific era that this was in 1929. Anyway, some more medals and awards. The relaxing reading, oh, sorry, the reading library pack. This is also where you wait for your plane before leaving the airport on a flight. All right, here's more. There's some more planes in here. Skylark. Uh, this one looks like a, I don't know what this one's supposed to look like. It looks like a Stearman model. 40. I look at the front of that thing, that's big. Okay, this is a steel frame. I don't know what this is. Hmm. The Laird, the Laird Swallow? Hmm. This one's got some uh, flowers on it. Must be a memorial or something. Against the wind. It's a little bench here. Thankfully, it's very quiet right now over here. Look at this marble floor. This is the kind of floors that were always used in these airports. You know, train stations too. Oh, uh, this is the town car, Stearman Auto. It's very nice. The Wichita Tractor. Junior bicycle is a very small and rare. I went to this museum back in whatever year it was, like 2019. It was like a few years ago. It's amazing how this place is still running. I'm glad it is. That goes up to the third floor and the access to the big tower you probably saw earlier. Which I'm sure you did. Faces, depression, war. Oh my, yeah. Funny thing is, the film industry was doing it well. Oh, well, not entirely, of course. What helicopter is that? 
What? I had never seen that before. Hmm. Private conference hall. This is usually for any, you know, like any other museum where they have some kind of special thing going on. Sometimes it's important to keep things private. Sorry. Look at all these trophies. All for the different races that have come around from far and near. What place that has history involved? I have a train. At least there's one right here. That looks like a Hudson in my opinion. Look at me in the way to talk. The design of these murals. These are beautiful. Two model plane tethered to the ceiling. This little education center. Right. This is something that kids can do in here. Let's see, it's a little, little small aviation area. A little, looks like some penny arcade ride or something. Yeah, if you want to take your kids here, this would be a really nice place because they have a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. Hmm. So much trouble here. Anyway, set up the second set of stairs heading up to the top almost. I'm not sure what might be up on the top floor as I have not been here in a few years, so I'm giving my flinch. Uh, yeah. All paintings. Hmm. Oh, that's a four. Amelia Earhart's in the ex exhibit somewhere. I'm sure she is. Looks like a great view from up here. That's the downtown skyline of Wichita. Spirit. And pretty much any others. Just plain that one. I don't know where that one came from. It does. Oh, ox mask. Another one right here. Hmm. Oh, nice. That's a nice little, neat little interactive thing. Boeing B forty seven Strider Jet. Lovely. Hmm. And the last one. A B-29 Super Fortress. Yeah, funnily enough, there's one not too far from here. It's one of the two still remaining in active service. The, the one we have here in Wichita is called Doc. It's at the B-29 Boeing, I think, Education Center, I think that's what that name was. Somewhere nearby. In one of these buildings out there. 
should be close by somewhere anyway. Gatling gun. It's probably for finer jets. Yeah, my great grandmother actually, when she was alive during the war, she used to serve in a parts manufacturing plant somewhere for airplanes during the war, somewhere in California, I think. Way to get inside the tower. Not sure if it's accessible at all. Look at another little mini theater right here. This is dedicated to the uh, black history of aviation. There's another donation box. I love that. It's nicely themed to the to an aircraft hangar. I love it. We step inside this thing, see what it looks like. Hopefully they allow this today. Ooh, it's a little warm in here. Toasty. Okay, I don't know where that goes. Let's get to the floor or something. Oh wow, I'm already at the top, aren't I? Oh, I must have been taking an elevator. Whew, man, it's not too high up. Ooh, actually, it might get down. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, acrophobia kicked in. No big surprise anyway. Yeah, I'm heading back down to the bottom floor. We're gonna go inside now. I don't remember if you went up there last time or not. No, I didn't. I didn't there really. Boxes, boxes. No, there's no mannequins up there, but still, it's just it's just so high up. I didn't notice how high I'd be. I think this was supposed to be the outside. Right outside. Boom. And woo! It's right. Right. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, please. <laughs> All right, so in the uh, aviation backyard. So I like to call it. This is the back on the other side. Try going up that tower already, but I didn't tell I got scared easily. And I just, I just went back down. <laughs> Embarrassing. This used to have something on the, this used to have the logo on the front for the Wichita Aviation Museum. Or I can't Aviation Museum and that's, See, all right, here's a wear and tear of taking a soul for some small private jets. Now, your force plane, big fat bomber, I bet. Ooh, this is a nice one. Where's the entrance? Let's board it up. Hmm. Worry, all this stuff might be chipping away. Unless you can see history like this up close. Since Wichita is obviously the air capital of the country, or probably the whole world, I bet, as it seems to be touted a bunch of times, it seems obvious that they have a lot of aircraft businesses around here. So that you can't have Wichita without airplanes. Especially this little private jet right here. Pretty small. Why knows? Old bombs. Plus, there seem to be some old uh, stairwells that allowed you to get up into the plane. Because, you know, back then, of course, back in the early days of flight, they didn't have a lot of those big enclosed air conditioned, um, you know, tunnels that you go through, bridge to get from the from the uh, from the terminal gate all the way into the aircraft. And as you can see, this is a no drone zone. Please do not fly your drones. Seriously, if you have drones and you're out here, just please pay attention to the signs. The army will come after you. You know, old parking lot right here. They have it chained off. 
Evet. Hmm. You're all getting... You're all too.